Hi hope you guys are doing well, so today I'll be showing you how to get this painting look, it's 3D yet looks painted and you don't have to paint even a single brush stroke, there are two methods, the second method is based on the first, for this you'll need Blender and Krita. First of all we'll head over to Blender and delete the default cube. Then click Shift, A, Mesh, Monkey. For this tutorial I'll use Suzanne but later I'll show you other examples. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier on Suzanne and apply it. Then right click, Shade, Smooth. Head over to UV Editing tab and I'll just assign the existing material. Normally in UVs it is a good practice to pack the UV islands close to maximize the space usage, but since this will be your first time with this method you'll scale and rotate the UV islands and create space between them. Once you get the hang of this method's settings you can go back packing the UV islands close to one another. By hovering your mouse on the UV island and pressing L you can select the UV island and can click S to scale and R to rotate the UV island to create space between them. Now in the shading tab click Shift, A, and search image and add an image node. In the image node click new and create a new image with any dimensions as long as they're square and name it whatever you want. For this next part we'll have to go to cycles render engine since we'll be baking object space normals of our mesh. Down here in the Baking tab change the Bake Type to Normal and Space from Tangent to Object. You also have to have your object and image node selected for this to work and then click Bake, it will take a little while depending upon your system's strength. In the UV editing tab we can see Blender has baked us an object space normal map, in the UV tab click on image and save the object space normal map. I already have it saved. Now open Krita, and drag and drop the object space UV map to open it inside Krita. First of all on the left hand click on the similar color selection tool and on the right side you can see its threshold, it should be set to 1. Click on the black part of the UV map and then click delete to delete it. Now click Ctrl Shift A, to deselect everything. The reason we're doing this is because we'll be applying filters on this layer and we don't want the black part to be affected by it. On the right side click on the plus button to create a new layer and click and drag it below our current layer, select the bucket tool while having the black color fill the new layer. These steps are optional. Make sure you now have the UV map layer selected, on the top menu click on filter and select start GMCQT, keep in mind to keep an eye out on the preview tab to see the results, also keep in mind that applying the filters takes time and it depends upon your system's strength, it could take a few seconds to a few minutes. In GMCQT's search bar type and brush, you'll be surprised by the amount of variations in brush strokes effect you can get with just these two filters, brushify, and paint with brush, you can either use only one of these filters or apply one and then the other on top of it. In the Brushify filter you have to keep these three settings as they are as shown, Light Type should be set to None, Light Strength to 0 and Opacity to 1, this is the opacity of brush strokes. You are free to experiment with the remaining settings as you please to get a variety of different brush strokes effects, I usually prefer the shape setting as Rectangle or Ellipse. The ratio setting is actually the thickness of the brush, I recommend you keep it between 0.25 to 0.5. The density percentage setting should be kept at a high number from 80 to 100. The rest of the settings you can play around with, as there isn't a fix range where they function well, unlike the settings I mentioned before. Onto the second filter, paint with brush, in the predefined style setting I recommend you go with default and smooth, whirls is for a grassy or carpety look. In the painting order setting my preference is, fine to coarse. In the brush diameter setting I usually prefer to keep it between 50 to 100.
The init canvas setting I mostly keep it to vector painting. You can experiment with the remaining settings as you please. After you're done with applying your desired settings of one or both of the filters, keep in mind applying takes time, export the UV map and save it by clicking file on the top menu and then clicking export. This is a UV map I made with first paint with brush filter settings set to smooth and fine to coarse and then on top of it I added the brushify filter with ellipse brush. Heading back into Blender, we'll now head over to shading tab where you can see I have a simple principle BSDF applied on Suzanne. Click Shift, A, and search and add a normal map node and change it to object space and keep the strength to 1 for now. Now add a image texture node and open the normal map in it, normally for a normal map the color space of image node is set to non-color but for some reason these normal maps work better with the color space being set to sRGB, you can try both non-color and sRGB to see what you like. Plug in the nodes as shown. You can see the basic painted effect on Suzanne. Now for the vase and flowers example I'll show you how we can utilize the strength of the normal map node to our advantage, after this I'll show you the second method by showing you the skull example. As you can see the stem's normal map has a strength of 0.5 which looks a lot better than 1. The leaf narc has a strength of only 0.1 which shows a lot more detail as compared to 1 which just shows dark shadows. Now for the petals the image node has its color space set to non-color unlike all the others where it's set sRGB, its normal map is also set to 0.5. In the skull example you can see it has this effect going on its surface which makes it superior to the previous effect, to get this effect we'll need at least three normal maps that are slightly varied from one another. So let's just head on back to Krita. On the top menu click on filters, select GMCQT and navigate to paint with brush filter. In the paint with brush filter to create slight variations of the normal map just change the number of iterations, the number of iterations should be slightly higher or lower than one another, for example you can create one map with 16 iterations, one with 20 and one with 24, after creating and saving three maps we'll head back to Blender. The basic setup is the same, the difference will be in the image node, open the three UV maps in the image node altogether. Now you see that the image node has more options. You can increase the offset value but since we only have three frames there isn't much point. Turn on the cyclic and auto refresh options. Now plug them in like before. Go back to layout tab and when you click play, we can see the effect on the surface. So there you have it 3D objects giving painted look without painting a single brush stroke, remember to keep experimenting with the filters to get different results. If you found this video helpful please leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel, and watch another one of my videos because that's how the YouTube algorithm works, it's a small channel and it won't cost you anything, thanks and I'll see you in the next video.